what's up youtube welcome to my channel and welcome to another video about my new helmet this is from uh, Tivra. they have sent me this new helmet and uh, in this video i'm going to talk about the pros and cons of this and also keep the unboxing at the last part of the video so i have used this helmet very extensively driven close to thousand kilometers went to Wayanad tested it out completely and, and also compared this with axor because that's the other helmet that i have you know the features of this because that's something which stands out in this helmet uh, so stay tuned till the end of the video and if while you're there subscribe and to come into the positives this helmet is very light if you see the helmet only weighs uh, roughly around like uh, what weighs uh, around 1350 grams which is very light uh, because the reason why it is light is because it's made up of uh, composite fiber so that's why this is very light and uh, this uh, uh, I mean, this is certainly a boom where uh, if you are on long drives and if you have a lighter helmet, you don't feel much fatigue because heavier helmets tend to give neck pains uh, and this avoids that because of its lightness. Though it is light, it is not uh, something where it is not durable. This is very durable and as you can see, it is ISI DOT certified and it is made in India. So. This is something which is, uh, you know, uh, noteworthy because uh, this is not a sticker, by the way, this is embossed into the helmet and uh, this is DOD certified as well. So this is good and tend to feel that once when you wear it and it is really uh, of a very good quality. Second thing which I like about this helmet is the visor. This one comes with a pin lock mechanism also uh, which helps in ensuring that there is no wind noise once when you wear it so here is where the pin lock mechanism is and the visor is anti fog and anti scratch resistant so this is good and also when you are in a foggy climates right or conditions this doesn't fog up so that is a visor mechanism to remove it it's pretty easy um, there is a small button over here that is something that you have to uh, this latch it that you have to pull it down and then take out this so it's a pretty uh, easy feature you don't have to fiddle with uh, any of the visor it's just that there's this rack ratchet that you have to pull it down and then take it out so that's something which is there uh, though the uh, mechanism is uh, pretty easy but i found that the left side one was a uh, little hard uh, and i had to uh, use a lot of force in ensuring to get that out uh, but that is probably a small con uh, but apart from that i think um, the mechanism to remove it replace it and also the options right uh, uh, that it has is really good the other good thing which i like about this helmet is the number of vents that it has so if you see there are one two three four five and also at the rear there are two vents so uh, on the rear side so that makes it uh, pretty nice breathable or a ventilated helmet and uh, i think the majority of the air which comes is can be comes uh, comes from here and then it channelizes in such a way that it goes upwards and also there are the stop vents so if you see this is how the air channeling is done and it keeps the helmet very cool uh, adding to the tinted visor right in the hot summer and currently in hyderabad it's close to 38 degrees i didn't feel the heat much adding to that is the weight so it it was very comfortable inside and uh, you know the breathable nature of this you know makes it uh, even more pleasurable to wear it so that's one something which i like the number of ventilations that it has the other good thing which I like about this helmet is the uh, multi-density EPS which is used which is a uh, high impact shock absorbent and also it is safe. Uh, there is the multi-layer polystyrene which is used which is also expandable and also the inner liners can be removed and these are washable and can be replaced. Uh, the other good thing is the inclusion of a double D ring and this is a uh, track level retention system so that is there and the quality of the strap also right it is bright and it is visible so that also is a very nice thing Another thing which i like about this helmet is the rear spoiler this is also detachable and this spoiler comes with a very nice design and uh, the overall you know helmet is in such a bright color mainly because it is something where you can 
uh, easily identify a driver in the night so that's the intent of this uh, and adding to that are the graphics based on the graphics you can still prefer uh, the choices I'll put a list that uh, there are different different uh, versions which are available based on the graphics that you can pick it up but uh, again the quality of the paint as well as the spoiler it is really nice and uh, yeah gives it a different look I wish that uh, the paint scheme also could have been continued on the spoiler just to make it a little more unique uh, rather than giving a plain design but yeah that's something that uh, we can also do it where we can just put a uh, wrap to the spoiler last thing which i like about the front uh, nose uh, uh, cover as well as the chin chin vent over here so this ensures that if you're doing vlogging the air doesn't come from inside and uh, distort or either it comes from the top uh, so this protection especially near the nose as well as the chin is something which is on the larger side so there are inner liners where uh, you can just uh, which are um, having the provision to put your bluetooth connectors as well uh, from that i think uh, one thing that i probably wish could have been different is uh, the front chin mount right uh, that uh, there's no space over here much so if you have to put a gopro or something right you need to get that extended uh, uh, you know clip uh, which holds from the either side i think that's something that you can do but again, they could have uh, given a little more space over here so that we can put a proper Go GoPro connector. I think that's something that I wish that could have been there or else take it to the side and put it to the side so that the GoPro comes like this. So those were my positives and probably a few areas of improvement uh, owning this helmet and uh, this one for the price of around 9950 i think under 10k right you get a very good helmet which is lightweight very uh, robustly designed good paint quality good graphics uh, aeronautically very uh, future proof and it also comes with double d-ring with a lot of safety features built into it so this is something which i feel is uh, the best helmet under 10k uh, probably there are a couple of things that uh, small minor things that could have been rectified like the uh, space for the gopro mount and also uh, the lock mechanic or maybe this is only for this unit but i think that's something which is there but apart from that i think it checks all the right boxes it is isi and dot certified uh, there is also the baraklava which they uh, have sent and also the visor which they have sent i'll do a separate video about that uh, and the unboxing experience also was really good they in fact uh, uh, it comes with a very nice bag and uh, also there are a couple of stickers that they give uh, or along with a warranty uh, card and uh, this comes with i think one year warranty so that also is a nice thing so all in all i would say this is one of the best helmet that i've owned Comparing with the Axor, yes, it is leaps ahead because Axor's price range is slightly different. Axor weighs heavy. This is made up of composite. The uh, weight is the predominant main factor in designing this helmet and making it so light. And adding to that is the safety features which is built into it and makes it more uh, desirable to wear it for long rides i think that's something which is there uh if i have to say and rate this i would rate it probably an 8.5 out of 10 and uh yeah this is something that's going to be my go-to helmet hence forward and i will also be using the um axor and also the bell helmet i will be doing a comparative video of all these three helmets separately thanks triva for uh sending this helmet for review purposes the opinions that are uh, that i've shared is purely based on my experience and uh, tivra didn't uh, endorse anything on those lines uh, but the experience is purely from my side and uh, i hope you enjoy this video if you do so please like and subscribe to my channel this is kevin signing off and see you in the next one bye, -bye.